Now to our end zone game of the week, which features an all making battle between the up and coming Ace Griffins and the longtime storied program, the Northeast Raiders. The Ace Griffins are 4-0 to start year two under head coach Keith Hatcher. This time last year, we didn't really know our kids. We were brand new. They didn't know us. They didn't know the expectations. Uh, so just the experience working with this group of kids, them working with us as coaches uh, over the past year. And now we see that we're a much better football team than we were this time a year ago. After falling in their first game of the season, the Northeast Raiders have won two significant matchups, defeating Fitzgerald, who was the top-ranked team in GHSA. 2A at the time and Carver from Columbus a top 10 3A team. Got to be disciplined and focused. As um, soon as they think they know everything, got to you know punch the air out of them real quick and get them back down to uh, to where they know that well we, we, we ain't did anything yet. Aces football program has only been around since 2018 and Coach Hatcher's primary goal was to establish the Griffins as a noteworthy program in middle Georgia, a goal he's already achieved in year two. Well, we're excited about what's going on in Macon, competing with the other schools in Macon, and, and now we're a, we're a relevant football program, and we're able to go out and compete and win on Friday nights, and it's, it's exciting for our community to be a part of that. Regardless of the Griffins' rise, the Raiders remain the team to beat in Macon. Well, Northeast is a great football team. Coach Wiggins has done a great job building that program. You know, they've been the dominant pr program in this region, in this league, so uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us, one we're looking forward to, be a great measuring stick for our program, uh, but they're a physical football team, they're well coached, and we know we're going to have to play our best. The Raiders defeated the Griffins 47-21 last season, so Ace is out for revenge and will look to defeat Northeast for the first time in program history in our end zone game of the week, which is set for tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. at Thompson Stadium. We'll have live pregame coverage at 5, 5.30 and 6 p.m. with highlights and scores on the end zone at 11 p.m. right here on 41 NBC.